Our pets are family. That might be an understatement when talking about Kylie Klein. The 13-year-old shares a special bond with her cows. They have won awards together, but two of them are gone because someone killed them. Brad Underwood is in Butler County tonight with a story you'll see only here on Local 12 News. 13-year-old Kylie Klein cleans the stalls before the cows come home for the night. Sadly, two of them aren't returning. They're lying dead in the pasture, both shot to death Monday morning. I was very upset, but then once I calmed down, I was very mad because they were my family. They were like everything to me. The cows, Harper Rose and Lacey, are both under five years old. Kylie bought them with her own money, raised them, trained them, and even showed them. We went to a district show, a preview show, our county fair, and state fair. And she won awards with them. Now all of that is gone. This is a big loss to her. This was supposed to be cattle that she raised for future show projects. And now we've lost those bloodlines and she's out cows. I mean, she has nothing to produce animals for next year. Kylie's mother, Olivia Klein, doesn't believe the shooting is a random act. It wasn't just some kid, I don't feel like, driving around just shooting guns. Like, it wasn't an accident. It was definitely on purpose. Both cows were shot from the roadway. The Kleins know that because there was a shell casing found near where I'm standing. But we're not talking about an easy shot here. One of the cows is about 70 yards into the pasture. This isn't the first time the Kleins and their cows have been a target. Three years ago, someone stole two cows, and the Kleins only got them back after a DNA test. But murdering her daughter's show cows, Olivia says, that takes things to a whole new level. If you can do this to a kid and you can do it to animals, what else would what else are you capable of doing? There is a reward for information about the shooting in Butler, Kentucky. Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. And again, yes, Butler, Kentucky and the Kentucky State Police leading the investigation into the shooting. We'll keep you updated.